good morning. Good morning, God bless you. Your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. In. Good morning. God bless you. It's the school of the Holy Spirit. And we are live. Come on in. Holy Spirit. Good morning to my Instagram family. Come flood this place. Your glory. Good morning. Come in, like, tag, and share. Good morning, Zoomers. By your presence. Oh. Your presence. Hallelujah. Come on in. Good morning. Holy Spirit to you. Come on, tell him good morning. Come flood this place. Your glory. To be overcome. Hey. Good morning. God bless you. It's the school of the Holy Spirit. Good morning to my Instagram family. Good morning. Good morning to the church. Love you, girl. Thank you so much. Evangelist Henry, good morning. Hey, good morning, Apostle Sonia. Good morning, Blackwell. I love to freeze. Good morning. I am Robin Nicole. And Bun, baby. We're going to call you Miss Bun. I love it. Can't wait to see you. Oh, hey, let's go. Let's go. It's time to activate Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023. Hallelujah. God has a plan. God has a plan for us. Hallelujah. Woo Good morning, Sister Tony Cook. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Prophet Wilson. Good morning, my sweet sister. One of the most active voices in, I, I would say, America right now. Double Roseman. God bless you. Hallelujah. I love you, girl. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 This is the era of Holy Spirit. We have got to get the news to the body. More aware of your prayer. We don't devote Jesus, but we must exalt Holy Spirit to the same, to the same love and honor hallelujah somebody said but you always talk about holy spirit too because everybody else always talking about jesus <laughs> somebody got talking about holy spirit that's my sign more aware of your presence good morning good morning i love to praise good morning come in good morning miss t what's up hey 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 let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Hey. Yes, yes. Good morning. Good morning, Denise. God bless you, Sister Mosby, Lady Mike. Good morning, Dr. Dean. Holy Spirit, deal with me. Let us become. Thank you, Jacqueline Dupree. Thank you, Dave. Dr. Juliet, I bless you. Happy daughter, good morning, Andrea. 
Good morning, good morning, baby. Good morning to all of all of y'all connected down there to blast. Pastor Rita Gill, good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Deborah Wilson, good morning. Make us somewhere. Make us somewhere. Come on in. God bless you. Stephanie Nathan, Juanita Campbell, Barbara Jackson Weatherly, Camilla S. Cook. I love you more, baby. Oh, Demetrius, good morning. Good morning, this for Herbert Jackson and the reading of them scriptures. <laughs> Woo! Good morning, Dr. Tracy Jones Robinson. That's the cathedral. Mama Pearl, no way. Good morning, Papa Pearl. Papa, no way. <laughs> Pastor William, good morning, your beautiful wife. Wow, beautiful. She's gorgeous. Juanita Campbell, LaFrieda Martin, Dorita Foster. Yes. Dr. D. Dwayne Kemp, I need you to plan a visit. Come see me. Elvis Demetrius, come see me. Yeah, I need to I need to get with a few of you. You're going to be voices. I have my Cleveland team coming in. Certain voices, certain people that I need to, I need to pour in. Praise the Lord. Hey, my sweet, beautiful sister. I sing this sister. Lord Jesus. With a pretty set. With a pretty single set. That's your Joe Foster. Good morning. Yes, yes, yes. I want y'all to hear this in the name of the Lord Jesus. I love this. And feel the Good morning, Dorita. Good morning. Lily Thomas, you all out like, tag, and share. Yes, thank you, Mama Pearl. D. Nicholson, good morning, Godly. Sherry Richmond Williamson, Bertha Davis, Gloria Warren. Good morning, classmates. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Join me in Atlanta this weekend. I'll be there at the Dream Center. His grace for Sharia Murphy. I'll be there. I mean, Danielle. I'm going to be there for the weekend. Dr. Joseph Walker. Let's go. We are parting. We are parting. Dr. Aqua, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Mr. Lola. I think I'm reading that right. Good morning. Welcome. Smiling pretty. God bless you, Ms. Sheba. Let your presence feel this room. Holy Spirit, my life, my life right now. Sandra Boosley, absolutely. Vanessa Robinson, hey. Your presence is here, hallelujah. Come in, come in, like Leonardo Cruz, Jolene Woods, God bless you. Pearl Evans, good morning, Zoomers, good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, free conference call. Yes, they finally got back online. Let us be more aware of your Woo! If, it, if that was the glory. Hey, let me become more aware of your presence. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sean. God bless you. Let us become more aware. Good morning, Gladys Gypsy Show ass. God bless you. Thank you. Love you. Woo! Good morning, God. And let's become more aware of your presence. Thank you for the heart. Thank you. Hallelujah. I, I do. I feel like I'm in my second wind, man. I'm telling you. Man, I speak more aware. Jeremy Sanders. Woo, let us become evangelist to keep us. Yes, yes. Woo. Up your presence. Let us experience the glory of 
your goodness. Make us aware. Make us aware. Hey. Thank God I am. I am excited about what God is doing and the people that God is attracting. Make us aware of your presence. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning. God bless you. Evangelist Akiva, good morning. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Thank you. LaShawn, God bless you in your business today. Hallelujah. The favor of Holy Spirit be upon us. Bishop Herbert Jackson, make us aware. Make us aware of his presence. Hallelujah. Good morning, Virginia. God bless you. Let's go. Melinda, good morning. God bless you. Hallelujah. Good morning, Dina. <laughs> Make us aware. Make us aware. Good morning, Kathy Chisley. God bless you. Make us aware. Make us aware. Make us more aware of your presence, Holy Spirit. We have not given you the reverence, the love, the honor that we should. Good morning, Pastor Michael Culbert. We have not done a good job in elevating the minds of the people uh, when it comes to spirit-filled living. Spirit-filled living is not I shout and I jump and I, um, I speak in tongues. Spirit-filled living is mindfulness. Mindfulness of your Christ self, your Christ image. I was listening to uh, Christine Chavis this morning. Your the image of day that you are mindful. Glory, God, and Abosha, God, Eshe, Bamaniose, Reba, Bamasha. Make me mindful. Make me more mindful of my Christ image. Glory, glory, glory. Make me more mindful of the image of day. Hey. I've tasted and seen. Reba Oshkata. Reba Babasha. Dr. Patricia Jackson. God bless you this morning. Hallelujah. Jacqueline, I'm telling you. Make me more aware. Holy Spirit filled living is mindfulness. I want somebody to put that word in their mindfulness. And I want to give a shout out uh, to Dr. William Reese, who is teaching 21 days of ministry and mindfulness. Find him in the evenings. Uh, Dr. William Reese is a scholar, but he's also a clinical psychologist, but he's a theologian. And he's teaching ministry and mindfulness for 21 days as we readjust to a uh, 2023 lifestyle. And it's just been a blessing. The language is what I needed. Wow. My, my, my spiritual director and my sister, Dr. Jessica Ingram. Wow. 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 She, I just wrote that in my journal this morning. Wow. 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 She's spiritual director. And I tell you, my spiritual living is mindfulness. We make too many decisions without engaging Holy Spirit. We have been emotionally driven for so long. Would you please go this evening to Dr. William Byron Reese? He is, tag his page, listen to it, go back and listen. 21 days of ministry and mindfulness. And so from that, I have been really drilling, drilling. Somebody write the word mindfulness, not emotionalism. Holy Spirit is not and emotion. Holy Spirit is God. And he comes in our lives in such an explosive, supernatural, miraculous explo explosion experience that we forget that our encounter with Holy Spirit should not be limited to our soul, which are emotions, our feelings. But Holy Spirit must be engaged in our minds. 
in my mind. I, I want to be mindful. Glory to God. I, I want to be mindful. I want to be mindful. Mindfulness. Holy Spirit is not an emotion. Holy Spirit is God. And so I must be more aware of your presence. Sometimes uh, our emotions are so far away from what Holy Spirit would have for us. So we must become more aware of his presence. I must be more mindful. Glory to God. Woo! I must be more mindful. We just saying, Cynthia Haynes, I, 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 yes, yes, Dr. William Byron Reese, he's been teaching for 21 days. Holy Spirit is God. And we are not uh, somebody said, well, I think that you exalt Holy Spirit more than Jesus. Well, the whole if the whole body of Christ is teaching on Jesus. Praise God. And so shall I continue. The missing God, the disregarded God is not Jesus. Not among believers, not among Christians. The disenfranchised God is Holy Spirit. And so I am, I'm ringing the bell. I'm sounding the alarm. Let's get to Pentecost. We cannot do, we cannot even ask people to do what we believe the scriptures say. We can't even ask them to live this Bible if we have not given them a high view of Holy Spirit can't live this Bible. You can't live this. You can't do this. You can't respond properly at all times. We have done a great job of, of preaching Christ, the cross, the empty tomb, but we have done a lousy job of, of the infilling of Holy Spirit, of the baptism of Holy Spirit, of the fullness of Holy Spirit. And so my Christ mind, my Christ thinking is only activated as I engage Holy Spirit. Good morning. I'm, I am Dr. Coletta J. Vaughn. I am a pneumatologist. And I give God praise for what he is doing and saying in the midst of his people. Good morning, Sunny for Life. God bless you. Rita Swain, V Towns, 52. Good morning, Holy Spirit. So we are asking uh, now that Holy Spirit would deal with me in 2023. <laughs> Hallelujah. Holy Spirit does not operate based on emotions. <laughs> Monica Monet, she says, I've been taught Jesus now I'm learning Holy Spirit. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Dr. Ingram says, I am covered and blessed to be covered by all three. Absolutely. Absolutely. Praise God. And this is the era of Holy Spirit. This is the era. And we are coming into balance with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We are blessed. Aren't we blessed? And so Monica says, I've been taught Jesus, and now I'm learning Holy Spirit. Absolutely. Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, she says, I am receiving this with a willingness to yield, submit, and surrender all to Holy Spirit. In this amazing season, my Christ thinking, come on, Virginia is not activated by my emotions. Ooh, Dr. Aqua, let's find that book. Uh, uh, I read a few a book a few years ago, Holy Spirit, the God I Never Knew. Wow. Uh, chain just, Chain released a book called The Forgotten God. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post that on the School of Holy Spirit page. The forgotten God, uh, Holy Spirit, the God I never knew. Wow, wow. My 
Christ thinking, my Christ mind, my Christ thinking, my Christ mind is activated by Holy Spirit. Let's go back to 1 Corinthians chapter number two. Glory to God. Good morning to my union family. Good morning. Hallelujah. The forgotten God. <laughs> Mother Pearl said, all I can say is that I'm blessed and highly favored. Mm. Linda, Jesus said, I am sending you a comforter. I must go away. It is for your advantage. It is for your advantage. Don't sleep on this book. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on this book. Don't sleep on it. <laughs> Don't sleep on it. It's 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 going to help you to be where you need to be. Uh, hallelujah. You are empowered by Holy Spirit living the with the advantage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Deborah Phillips says, uh, Jesus announced that the Holy Spirit would be forthcoming. And I think it is imperative to go deeper into knowing the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. If that's what he left, if that's what he said, then that's what we should be doing, right? <laughs> Woo, who would know the things of God except the Spirit of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> we believe in the sanctifying power of Holy Spirit by whose indwelling uh, the Christian is able to live a holy and separated life in this present world. The Father sent Jesus. Jesus sent Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit sends us. Yeah. Somebody write that down. Father sent Jesus. Jesus sent Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit sends us. Wow. Somebody write that down. The Father sent Jesus. And Jesus sent Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit sends us. Ooh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Um, there are so many wonderful, wonderful uh, books. Um, Takiba has put up um, The God I Never Knew by Robert Morris. Uh, the God I Never Knew by Robert Morris. An excellent, excellent book. Excellent book. Hallelujah. Wadabashaba Ishkoto. I need you to grab this. The Father sent Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus sent Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit sends us. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Somebody get that in your spirit. Hallelujah. Somebody get that in your spirit, that we might know the things that are freely given to us, that we might know the things that are freely given to us, that we might know the things that are freely given to us, that we unite our mind and blend our mind with the mind of Holy Spirit. What does that mean? That, that is uh, that we harmonize and we mix and we blend our thinking with Holy Spirit, the scriptures. And think about that. Think, think about how now we have this honor and this privilege to be sent and imagine us not participating properly in the world because we don't have our right mind. We don't operate as we should because we are not mindful. We are not mindful. We're not mindful. I want you to say that with me, Holy Spirit. 
make me more mindful. Make me more aware. My thoughts, my speaking, my talking, my reactions, my responses. Make me more aware, more mindful. <laughs> Help me to harmonize more with what you say. Blending my mind with Holy Spirit produces a desired quality, the mind quality that the Lord has planned for us. These are my notes. This lack of blend with Holy Spirit ties the hands of the Lord in our lives. So it is essential that the blending of your mind and the mind of Holy Spirit be unwavering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is imperative. It is imperative that I blend my mind with the mind of Holy Spirit. And when we talk about blending, we're talking about mixing. Anybody here uh, 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 do any cooking in the kitchen? Uh, it can be simple. It can be scrambled eggs. It can be something complex such as a pie or pound cake or uh, it's seasoning meat or whatever it is. There is a blending. There is a blending. There is a blending. Listen to this, Boaz, I see you. Boaz says, I had a situation where offense was caused this morning. I prayed, Holy Spirit said, I can dwell where offense resides. And I got bold and said, make the person apologize, Holy Spirit. <laughs> well, let's get mindful. Let's get mindful. The first thing you want to do is to examine why you got offended that this is not even about the other person, Boaz, that this was about you. Why did you even get offended? Let's go into that space. You see, offense is a choice. You always can choose not to be offended. So I want you to right now, let, let it go. Whether the person says a word to you, let that go. Because offense is never about the other person apologizing. Offense is about whether or not you trust Holy Spirit and that you do not allow an offense. See, mindfulness, mindfulness that we are more mindful. Let's blend that. Let's blend your mind with Holy Spirit. Would Holy Spirit get offended? Let's come on. Let's 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 think more mindfully than emotionally. Let's let's not be so emotional. <laughs> Uh, the mind of Holy Spirit and my mind, I must blend it. If I'm blending food, if I'm blending um, spices, I'm blending a, something I want my family to enjoy, I want to eat, uh, I got to blend those things. If not, um, if it's not blended well, uh, then the presentation is, is going to be lacking. The taste is going to be lacking. I got to blend. I got to blend my mind. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, Cheryl McKenzie Best says, I now have a complete outlook concerning Holy Spirit. I've only learned of Holy Spirit in an emotional manner. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Thank God. Thank God for, for, for being in this class, right? Thank God for the school of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 
Holy Spirit, make me aware of your presence. Make me more mindful. So to unite my mind is to harmonize, to mix, to blend my mind. Now, this is where scripture becomes so vital. This is where scripture becomes so very vital. Because if I know what scripture says, then it's easier for me to acknowledge Holy Spirit uh, and to acknowledge that conviction, to acknowledge that urging, to acknowledge my anger, my temper, my emotions. Uh, it's, it's, it's easy for me to acknowledge when my mind is opposite of what God wants for me. It's easier if I know scripture. So I must put the scriptures in my mind. I must put the scripture in my mind. Now, we must come to an understanding that the Lord has a quality of life already prepared for us. It will not be without suffering. It will not be without persecution. It will not be without disappointment. But this life that God has prepared for us, that he has planned for us, that he has ordained for us as his people through the finished work of his son, Jesus Christ, that this quality of life, even though we have disappointments and we have situations that go on in our lives, this quality of life, this advantage of having Holy Spirit in our lives is that we might operate at a higher frequency. It's nothing to be emotional. It's nothing to be offended. Offense is a choice. You decide that you want to be offended. You get a certain feeling, you get certain words are spoken, and, and, and before you know it, you're offended. But that was a choice. Your mind made a choice. You made a decision and your emotions drove that decision. The word of God did not drive that. Holy Spirit did not lead that. Offense is a choice. You can choose to be unoffended or you can choose to be offended. <laughs> How about that? How about that? And, that, and that's what we don't, we don't like that. I, I'm going to choose to work with Holy Spirit in my mind. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter number two, let's go back to that. 1 Corinthians chapter two, and we're talking about mindfulness. We're talking about blending our minds with Holy Spirit. And here's what um, I, I kind of want to go back to. Verse 12, 1 Corinthians chapter number two. Uh, and, and I'm in my paper Bible. You can get whatever device you want, but I'd like you to have your Bible. Get your journal and your Bible and learn. Hold, hold the book. Amen. Now, watch this. Now, we have received, verse 12, not the spirit of the world. Wow. We have received not the spirit of the world. Somebody... Somebody, somebody need to hear that. <laughs> we have not received the spirit of the world. But as you needed it, I can't let you sit in that. I can't let another moment, I can't let you be all right with that. I want you to hear this. Wow, Dr. Hope, the, my hopeologist is here. My choices are made by offenses or fears when we are not spiritually mature. Absolutely. And you'll never get spiritually mature operating in your emotions. Woo-wee. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Tracy. I was thinking about um, uh, when I go to the Home Depot or I go to Sharon Williams. And I pick a certain color, right? 
I like Burr Paint from Home Depot and I love Sherwin Williams. I have certain colors <laughs> that I've been very consistent with. And so they, 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 I take the color I want and uh, now it's all digital, right? And so they use a certain base. They have a base paint, um, depending upon the color that I've, I've selected. And they drop in uh, this correct amount of uh, coloration. So that I, the hues, so that I can get what it is that the color that I've requested, right? And they don't give it to me like that. They don't, they don't give it to me in that form. So what they do, Overseer Ryan, is that they, they, they put it in. Now they put it in a machine. It used to be manual years ago. But now they put it on this machine and you can hear because they put little uh, little balls, lid balls, in it, little balls that are acrylic now because they take the lid out. But they, they blend it. 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 They, they, they blend it. Somebody say they blend it. Ah, and, you know, you walk around the store, you get all your other stuff, your tape, your, you know, all your other things that you need, because this process, it takes a minute for it to do what it needs to be done. Praise God in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And when you come back to the counter, he pops the top. And then he sometimes puts his, their finger in it and put it on the top. And guess what happens? The very color that you picked is now that color of the paint. Now you saw them put the hue in, you saw them put the dye in or whatever they call that, the colorant. So much of this, so much of that, so much of that. But it was not until it was blended. It was not until it was blended that it became the quality of what you desired. Now, when I think of blending, Tracy, thank you. I think of paint. I think of when that when that process takes place, I go now and I put it on the wall. But it, was, it didn't start off like that. It started off with a base. And then I had to pick a color. And then the chemist, the person working on me, the professional knew how to computerize to get that particular color. So there were certain components. There were different things that had to be engaged. Oh, come on here, Pastor Cole. Listen to me. <laughs> and so when I get home, I'm ready now to open the top of the paint. And it is the color I chose. But it had to be blended. Hmm. It had to be blended. It had to be blended. Now, and to blend it now is that what it was, what it was is indistinguishable because of what has been added to it and how it has been processed. I now have the color that I desired. Hey. And so there are events in our life that happen 
that reveal to us where we are not blended. We think it's always about somebody else. We always wanted, no, 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 no. That event was about you. I don't believe that, that, that huh, huh, it's about you. I don't believe they said that. And do you know how much this, Chris? And, and, and do you know? Yeah, uh, this event, Boaz, those of us, is about you and where you are still in the blending process. Well, you might have been the right color for the last season. You might have been the right hue for the last season, but in this next season, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need another level of blending. It's never about them. It's never about y'all. It's about me. Am I blending? How do I feel about this shaking process? <laughs> When I opened the door, <laughs> when I opened that 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 paint can, glory to God. And people walk in my house after it has been applied. Yay! Nobody knows what it had to go through. People say, "Oh, I like that color. Oh, I like that color. Oh, I like that color." Yeah, but you don't know what it took to get it to that. Now, what was put in it has been totally intermingled into the base. My base, my base, my Imagel day. The base, I am already created and created and made and formed in the image of God. That's the base. We are all in the Imagel day. We are all in the image of God. But we will not all be the same color. And we will not all serve the same purpose or be applied in the same rooms. Therefore, God has to give us his Holy Spirit. Not the spirit of the world. We have not received the spirit of the world. We don't get to show out. We don't get to cuss folk out. We don't get to tell people off. We have not received the spirit of the world. Yeah. We have not received the spirit of the world. Paul says, we don't even grieve as those who have no hope. We have not received the spirit of the world. And all of us start with the same base, the Imagel day. The image of God. But now we must go through the blending, the shaking. That, 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 that colorant has to be added to us. Patience, long suffering, temperance, self-control, brotherly kindness, virtue, knowledge. Yes. That, 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 that's. We don't like that. We don't like that. And I got the blend. I got the blend. He got the blend. He got the blend. He got the blend. He got the blend us. He got the blend. Holy Spirit more into our base. Yes, we are made in the image of God. Yes, we are in the image of the Lord Jesus. Yes, we have been created. Yes, we have been taken out of the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of light, but we still need blending. Oh, <laughs> until 
Christ is formed in us. Shout out till the spirit of God. Christ is that spirit. Until Christ is formed in us. Paul says, I must travail again. Until Christ, the anointing, the power of Holy Spirit is formed in you. It ain't formed in you. You speak in tongues. You shout, but you cuss too. And I, whoa, you hold a grudge. You, you, you can be angry and, yes, got to, and, and say things you shouldn't say. Christ is not formed. Hey, shut it bullshit. Yeah, I don't like the shaking. I don't like the blending. I, I, I don't like this. I, I don't. It's all right. It's all right. Just stay in the process until Christ is formed. Until Christ is formed. I go to church. I go to a great church. And we're fasting, we're praying, we're doing good things, but it's Christ formed. Okay, now I put that paint on the wall. Or will it be smeared and streaked? Can I send you someplace and you don't show out? You still slamming doors and bumping walls and still go out in the huff and don't stop and listen and don't comprehend conversations. Hey, Shataba Kishkotoba. Hey, Shada Katama. Hey, Shataba. Oh, my God. Can I, can I put you on the wall yet? Yeah. If I, if I pour you out in the in the pan, the roller pan, and I stick the roller in it, what's going to come up on that wall? You streaking. You, you, you're not blending well. You still got arguing in you. You still got disrespect. You still got pride. You still got uh, a self-preservation. You still have trauma-informed decisions. When you're paying $40 for a gallon of paint, you want that baby to be right. And you don't want to get home and find that it ain't the color that you selected. You don't want to get home <laughs> and find out that you have not produced what God put you in the earth to produce. You don't want that to happen. <laughs> Woo! Glory, glory! Hashkin. Listen to me carefully. Until Christ is formed, until I can see. Now, I have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit from God. Verse 12, that we might know the things, mindfulness, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us. And these things we also speak. Not in man's worldly wisdom. No, no, no. But that which Holy Spirit teaches. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. And this is where we get in trouble. See, our blending is bad. We want to compare spiritual stuff to natural stuff. We want to compare spiritual to natural. <laughs> you can't, well, well, you know, I, 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 I didn't see that. No, no, no. You comparing something natural to try to get some type of spiritual. No, no, no. Comparing spiritual with spiritual. Trust the process. Trust the process. Well, I, I don't like the way he spoke to me. That's all right. Go ahead on and get blamed. It's all right. You ain't got to like it. Well, you know, they, she don't ever listen. It's all right. It ain't about them listening. It's about whether or not you understand how to respond to that. It ain't about them. It's never about them. That pink can that's in that shaker don't care about the 900 other can, pans of can, cans of paint that's in the store. It's only going through its process. And each process of each paint can is specific to that can. It's 900 other cans of paint 
in that warehouse and none of them have anything to do with what that can is now going. Ah, Sha. <laughs> Some of y'all bitter and don't know you bitter. Some of you got a sting in your voice. It, it don't even have to be, it can be about groceries. It can be about, it can be about anything, but you got a sting on you. You got a sting in you. You, you, you still got some bitter in you. You still, you, you, you still, just the way you talk about stuff. It ain't what, about what you're talking about. It's the spirit of the world that you carry. You still carry a sting. You still carry bitterness. You still carry an anger. So you got to be blended. You got to be blended. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. But every time I try to say something, so, so, it ain't got nothing to do with them. It ain't got nothing to do with them. Your blending has nothing to do with them. God, that 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 pan that that if that if that can of paint could talk, it probably would be screaming, "Get me out of here! Get me out of this store! I don't want to be here! I don't want to go home with them!" It's probably screaming. I don't want. I don't like the way I was. I like the way I was. Why I gotta be blue? Why I gotta be red? Why? into the process. We have not received the spirit of the world, folks. Why are you still trying to blend with the world? Why are you still using them as your guide? Why are you still using them as your model? We have not received the spirit of the world <laughs> if that can of paint could talk you think it said oh hallelujah thank you <laughs> you think it's shouting on the inside you think it's a pleasurable experience for that can of paint <laughs> oh if that can of paint can tell you it can tell you some things it can tell you how many times it's been passed over. It can tell you how it felt when those other colors went in it. It can tell you how comfortable it was sitting on the shelf. It can tell you some stuff. You think it's happy? You think it's, it's shouting on its side? No, this is tough. Everything in me is being all shaken everywhere. going home with somebody. I'm going to an office space. I'm, I'm going someplace to be useful. But I couldn't go in my rawness. I had to be blended. Blending your mind with Holy Spirit. Oh my God. <laughs> you can't think about the world. You can't think, well, that's not the way. We have not, I'm going to go back to it, receive the spirit of the world. We have not received that. Oh, Shakaba. Whoa, I got to blend my mind. I, I got to blend my mind with, with Holy Spirit. I got to do, I've got to allow this process. I got to allow this process. Woo, Shaka, come on, Leonardo. <laughs> Let, let's, my God. Woo, I know the colors. I, I know my Sherwin William colors and I know my Burr colors. And woo, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Then there's a process even before the paint can go up on the wall. You got to tape it. You got to know how to, how to cut it. You got to cover the furniture, cover the floor. There's a process in applying it. We are not 
to be comparing ourselves with the world. We have received the spirit of God. Don't let your gift trick you. Don't let your gift fool you. Don't let your gift trick you. Somebody write that in the chat. Lord, don't let my gift fool me. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm prolific in prophecy. Yay, I'm prolific in prayer. <laughs> I'm prolific in Greek and Hebrew. I'm, I'm prolific in discernment. I'm prolific in, in, in expository prayer. I'm prolific in soul winning. I'm, I'm prolific. Don't let your gift fool you. <laughs> don't let your gift fool you. Don't let your gift trick you. Don't let your gift tell you that you are blended. Your gift will operate whether you're blended or not. Your gift will operate because the gift comes without repentance. You can operate in the gift and never repent. So don't let your gift fool you. I, I know the word. If, if, if I, since I know the word and I, and I pass the church and, I, and I'm good with money and I'm good in prayer and I don't miss church. And I said, don't let your gift fool you. <laughs> don't let your gift trick you, baby. <laughs> Whoa, that blended ain't got nothing to do with that gift. That blended ain't got nothing to do with that gift. When you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you receive all the gifts because the Holy Spirit is the gift. And he brought all of his manifestations. But don't let, your, don't let your gift trick you. You can preach, prophesy, and see in the spirit realm in 2029 and still be a hoe. And still, and still, and still be a hoe. Don't let your gift fool you. Don't let your gift trick you. Because you can be, you can be very, you can read Greek and Hebrew and still come on here. Be be in some type of perverted foolishness. Don't let your gift fool you. Don't let your gift, don't let your gift fool you. You're still mean. <laughs> don't let your gift fool you. You still gamble. You still play the lottery. Don't let your gift fool you. Don't let your gift get up my school. No, sir. <laughs> you ain't blended your mind. See, that's what happened to people. People say, God is with me because you still prophesy. God is with me because you still lead the prayer ministry. God is shacking. God is still, God is with me. Come on here and still rolling dice. God is with me. Come on here and still and still lying on your job, still cheating, still late for work. Come on, here. God, don't let your gift fool you. You still mean spirit. People still don't want to be around with you. <laughs> don't let you get fooled, you folks. Listen, it takes the blending of your mind that you might freely, that you might know what has been freely given to you by God. Oh, is anybody, is anybody, is anybody hearing me? Come on, we, we have not blended well our minds. And so we are not living at the quality of life. Don't let your gift fool you because your calendar is booked. Because your book don't mean nothing. That's the gift. The gift will always make room for you. But don't let your gift fool you. Is your mind blending? with the Holy Spirit? Are you complaining about the process? Are you agitated and irritated? Good, that's what the blending is. It's the agitation. Those hues, those, those components that have been put into that can, along with the base, the agitation of it is what causes them to become one. Are you, is your mind one with Holy Spirit? It's my mind. I, listen, I can't even ask you. It's my mind. What? What? Am I mindful? Is my mind one with the Holy Spirit? Gosh, Listen to me very carefully, folks. This is our cry. And this is our prayer. And this is why we are saying in this year, we have one request. <laughs> Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023. I got to go. 
Get your Bibles and read that first Corinthians chapter number two. I want you to marinate and meditate in that. And I want you to allow Holy Spirit to add to you what you need so that your mind is blended with him. I gotta go. <laughs> Woo, I got to go. I love y'all, but I got to go. Good God Almighty. Woo, God. Holy Spirit, deal with me until all in my life becomes yours.